money. Yeah! You been watching too much of that WW wrestling, huh? Not wrestling, Dad. Bodybuilding. There's a big difference. Every year you're trying to outdo the last year or get better from the last year. And that's what I was trying to do every single year. Get better from last year. But that's the way it was for me. On the seventh day, God didn't rest. On the seventh day, God created Ronnie Coleman. I never had any dreams of being a Mr. Olympia. I never had any dreams of being a bodybuilder. Just a boy who didn't realize what he would become and what power would be awakened. It's not normal strength, it's a gift from God, number one, that he has. He's gifted with genetics to be able to do that. I started powerlifting when I was in high school, you know. I had a gift of strength. I was pretty strong. A friend of mine got me into serious training, a guy by the name of Brian Dobson. He said he knew it right then and there I'd be a champion one day and the guy said, if you compete, I give you a free membership to the gym. I could beat him on everything at first. And then probably within six months, I never beat him on anything ever again. In 1992, I didn't get a dime. Didn't get a dollar. 1994, I didn't complain when I got 15. 1995. I didn't complain when I got 11. 1996, when I got 6. 1997, when I got 9. I remember watching him. God dang. It was the beginning of the end for me and every other bodybuilder. Ronnie Coleman! Woo! Everyone said flex wheel, flex wheel, and Ronnie came out. And when he turned to that back, it was amazing. What he made improvements in that one year was just unbelievable. No one even thought Ronnie was going to be in the top five. The new Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman. like a dude who they invented in a Marvel comic book to kill the Hulk. Ronnie in any era smoked anybody in any era. When Ronnie dropped him clothes backstage, everybody's mouth dropped. Jay Cutler. Everybody. And when you talk about on stage competing against him, a monster. <laughs> He's by far the most dominant bodybuilder in history. So I kept getting bigger and bigger. 
So nobody will catch up with me. Controversial win last year. A lot of fans didn't think you deserved to win. You thought you did. How did you take that? Hearing people saying things about the champion. It motivates you to only be better and to get better. I get all my inspiration, all my determination, my dedication. All that comes from God. As long as God wants me to be around here to represent it, to support the fighter building, put me in the spotlight, then hey, I'll be here. This year, I want to bring in a totally different package. I want to do something totally different. God put me on this earth to do this. If you look at Ronnie in 2003, we may never see that again. When I was in the gym, I felt like I was Superman, because I was so strong and I was so in control. Hey, please! Yeah! Thank God for great. He was that far ahead of everybody, that far ahead. Mr. Olympia seven times. 